Hey guys, Paul Peck here. I want to shoot a quick video on how to spray a can of Homax Orange Peel Texture. This is the oil base. I prefer the oil base because it holds up when you paint it. The water base sometimes will smudge right away when you're painting. So uh, I'm going to show you how to match an orange peel texture on an existing wall. Also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a tip and trick on how to even better blend that orange peel texture to match yours. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm constantly putting videos out to help you out. Okay, so I've got everything masked off, all the surfaces protected, and also a bubble to contain any overspray. So uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. Next, you're going to want to shake the can vigorously for about one minute before you even consider spraying it. Now what I like to do is practice on a piece of cardboard before I start spraying the whole wall. Perfect. So uh, that looks pretty good. Get a little closer up for you. Pretty close, you know, repairs, you just gotta get it close, the key is blend. So uh, I'm happy with how the texture looks on the piece of cardboard. So I'm going to get to it. Okay, so um, what I like to do is go in circular motions and you got to keep moving. You can't stop or anything or it's going to pile, the texture is going to pile up on you. So uh, keep moving, go in circular motions, hit all the newly repaired drywall area and get that coated real good first. Then do your blending. Right there at the joint compound meets the existing is a crucial area, so you want to pay special attention to that. You got to keep shaking it. You're not going to be able to just hold the trigger until it's empty. So once you start feeling the pressure going out, you're going to have to shake it, turn it upside down, shake it, kind of shake it as you go too. Okay, once you start hearing that metal ball on the can, making a racket like that, you know you're getting low. So be sure to have all the crucial areas covered. Hopefully that's already been done and you're just doing some blending. You can see the orange peel texture is a little raised. I'm going to show you how to deal with that if it doesn't match your texture perfectly at the end of the video. Got to keep moving fast and shaking that can to get all the material out of it. Right now I'm just blending into the existing, going lightly. Feathering out is what we call it. That helps the texture blend tremendously. Okay, so now I'm um, pretty much done with the texturing. I'm going to take down this plastic so I can get ready to prime the area. And also show you a better view of the texture I just sprayed. So there's my uh, plasma TV on the drywall lift. Had to use my drywall lift to be able to install it myself. Uh, but here's the, some close-ups of the orange peel texture.
Okay, so you can see where I kind of just feathered it out and went lightly out to nothing, just blending the texture into the existing. All right, here's that bonus tip for blending the orange peel texture for everyone that stuck around and watched the whole video. I like to use a Zinser 123 water base primer. Uh, it works really well. I'm not getting paid to say that or anything. It's the primer that I prefer to use for sealing uh, repairs and new texture. So if you notice, this orange peel texture is a little raised, kind of bubbly. Uh, if that doesn't match your orange peel texture, what I like to do is first prime it with the Zinser 123, and then I take my six inch taping knife, which is a stainless steel, six inches are pretty stiff, and carefully just kind of scrape over the top, being careful not to gouge it. And that's gonna take off the raised bubbled look of that orange peel. Now, if that's how yours looks, great. You don't have to do anything, but if you're trying to make it blend just a little bit better, here's that bonus tip. Just be careful not to scrape too hard and take off a bunch of texture, because then you're gonna have to retexture. But the primer seals it up pretty good, and if you don't just hit a big bump, you'll be able to uh, make it happen. All right, so this is painted with two coats of Richard's signature satin to match the rest of the house. As you can see, once the big screen's up, there's not a lot of texture showing, but you can also see that it blended pretty darn good. So there it is. I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of how to's, tips and tricks, and even some project videos. So uh, subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.